Hello everybody, my name is Fussel Brains, and today I want to make a quick video on how I got Recoil to work from a game from 1998. So um, this is how I got Recoil to work on Windows 10. So um, anyways, uh, just so you know guys, I haven't done any kind of walkthroughs like this before, so this is like my first time actually doing this, so uh, please bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to make this as clear and as simple as possible, and hopefully you guys can follow along, and, and if you can, hopefully it works for you. So again, this is my first time, so just, just try to bear with me as I as I make my way through this, <laughs> okay? So um, anyways, um, the first thing I did was I, uh, I downloaded the NGLIDE 1.05 configurator. Um, I will leave the links down in the description below as well as the link to their uh, compatibility list. Yeah, so all I did with this is I downloaded it and I installed it and that was it. Um, and then I turned off this logo. It's just a splash screen. You can choose to have it on or off. It really doesn't matter. Um, so I left everything else alone. So, And you can just hit exit. And you don't. You just need to download it and install it. You don't even need to mess with it or anything. You know, I chose to keep it down here so it's easy access. But you know, you don't need to do anything. I just need to download it, install it, and you're good to go. Um, then what I did was obviously I inserted the recoil CD. And after when you insert your CD, what you want to do is you want to uh, right click it and go to open. And then you want to go all the way to setup, the one that has application. It's 59 kilobytes. So that's what you want to do. You want to go down there. And uh, you just want to open this as well. You can either double click it, uh, click on it, or you can just right click it and hit open. There it is. Sorry, it, it, sometimes it takes a while. You just have to be patient, and it should. <clears throat> but once it comes up, you what you want to do is you want to go through the installation process. You want to do it normally. So don't go to browse or don't do uh, custom installation. Do not do those. You just want to run through the regular installation process and let it install where it would by default. After when it's done installing, you want to go to your C drive and or wherever it installed. That's exactly where you want to go. So just go wherever it installed it to. And um, once you're here, this recoil application will not work. It will always say fail to initialize a video device. That one won't work. So what you want to do is go to the folder that says 3DFX and in here there's another application that's called recoil so what you want to do or what I did personally is I copied it so that's what I did and then I came back out here and I replaced this recoil application with the one that was in the 3DFX folder then what you want to do is you want to open it and now you'll have two options here one that says software game Z but with the 3DFX folder you have a second option that says accelerator voodoo 3DFX and that's the one that you want you want to select that one and then you can select whatever resolution that you want. I obviously go with 800 by 600. And uh, I never mess with any of this stuff down here. So that's all you need to do. And then you just need to go to game start. And uh, it should run normally. And uh, the cutscenes do work. If you don't hear any of the game audio, that's probably because I uh, lowered all the system sound so that way you can only hear through the mic. So, But I promise you the sound does work and uh, prove that the game actually works and runs um, I'll go ahead and start a new game for you guys really quick <clears throat> so here's the first cutscene I'll go ahead and skip that and uh, here you go so it runs very well very smoothly everything runs great so there you go. Um, hopefully this works for you guys. Again, if it does, let me know down in the comment section below. And once again, this is actually on my Windows 10 desktop, not in a virtual box or anything like that with like Windows XP or 7 or whatever. So again, this is actually on Windows 10. So again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please let me know if this worked for you. Hopefully it does. Again, I will leave the uh, NGLIDE 1.05 configurator. I'll leave the I'll leave all this in the, the description below. I'll leave all the links and everything. So uh, let me know if it works for you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see you all again next time. Adios, amigos.